how you guys came out in that first quarter just kind of locked in and focused in what ways did that focus shift and change throughout the game um I mean we we, we got it going offensively um and then when shots start not going in um we didn't get back in transition um and they just got their confidence in transition um I think they had 26 points in transition we kind of halted it in the second half but it's too late then um we just have to have resolve when shots are going in we're, we're fine but when shots not going in we got to do the little things and i tell them it's not that we're not capable are we willing to do it though um to do the small things to win and we're gonna get on this plane and i'm gonna stop i'm not gonna stop fighting i'm not gonna stop motivating them encouraging them to do the small things and we're not gonna stop fighting we need to win a game against cleveland that nobody think we can win in the second quarter, it felt like that's where the confidence kind of was felt, especially with that Hornets group. Just what did you see and kind of what adjustments, if there were any adjustments that you saw from the Hornets team? They just, they they, they pressured us. They got up, they got made it hard for us. They blitz, um, and we turned the ball over. Um, so they blitz and pick and rolls. Uh, we went over the blitz pick and roll where we want to hit the dive man and do our cutting patterns behind it. And, you know, we have to do it better. We have to execute better. Um, and we got to make sure we make the right plays, and uh, we didn't do enough of that tonight. Um, and it's all, it, it is offense, but it's really, they, they get into our rim, um, and when Nick goes over to block the shot, we got to be down, and everybody got to do it together. It's just a combination of a lot of things. I um, haven't watched the tape, but my eyes don't lie. 50-50 um, balls, um, I don't remember us getting one of them. Um, I really don't, and I might be lying when I watch the tape, but every 50-50 ball, when we had a chance to get it, we didn't get it, and that's one of the biggest EGBs. This is, uh, I mean, this is the second game in a row where kind of staying in front of your man was a problem, and allowing the kind of those line drives to the rim. Um, in your mind, was that, is that an effort thing, or is that not kind of focusing in on the game plan and, Helping guys out. I mean, from training camp on, I mean, the game plan is contain a dribble. I mean, you can't give up straight line drives. There's no defense in the world for that. We can do shell all we want to, but straight line drives and depending on Nick to block the shot, he's not Superman back there. So, and sometimes we in 15 and he's up on the perimeter. So, um, we have to do a better job keeping our man in front of us. Um, and then when the ball goes up on the rim, we have to do a better job being down and boxing out. But when you get blown by, we have to help. That just causes a domino effect where it's open threes, it's open offensive rebounds. So we just have to do a better job in that. And we'll continue to try to drive them to, to focus in and have pride on that, in, on that area. With the paint defense, I think three of the last four games you guys have given up like 50 points. Mm -hmm. Do you see, in addition to what Brian just asked, do you see any commonalities besides just not seeing for any just guys not collapsing at the rim, or it's just like you said, too much pressure on the neck. Like, what do you see with not being able to protect the paint as well as you want to? It starts with ball pressure, starts with containing a dribble. I mean, that's where it starts at, and if you can't do that, it's very hard. We want to be shifted behind. Uh, we want to have uh, assertive gaps. Um, and when you get dro dro you know, driven, you want to have assertive gaps, make them kick it out, and then we have a stunt behind. and. It's just making multiple effort plays, and we have to do that um, to win games, and we got to do it consistently. It can't be just the first quarter. We have to do it consistently, and we have to get stops, multiple stops. I thought we did a good job third quarter coming out. We couldn't score on the other end, but we was getting stops, and then it just you know, got away from us in that fourth.